Dmitry Rogozin, the former head of Roscosmos, Russia's National Space Agency, as well as the Russian-backed head of the occupied part of Zaporizhia Oblast, revealed that the Russian Federation's Black Sea Fleet altered its location due to strikes from Ukrainian naval drones. Rogozin said this in an interview with Moskovsky Komsomolex. If we go back to weapon systems and the modifications that occurred during the special military operation as the Russians refer to the war against Ukraine, the methods of combat use, the Black Sea Fleet provides an interesting example. It was forced to modify its place of residence since our massive ships had become easy targets for unmanned enemy boats, he said. Recall on the 1st of February, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported that soldiers of the Group 13 Special Forces Unit of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine destroyed the guided missile corvette Ivanovets, part of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, on the night of the 31st to the 1st of February 2024. On the 4th of August 2023, the Security Service of Ukraine conducted a special operation in Novorossiysk Bay, Russia. An uncrewed surface vessel damaged the heavy landing ship Olonegorsky Gonyak causing a serious breach. Ukrainian intelligence stated that due to Ukrainian attacks on the Russian Navy, the Russians are trying to establish a naval base in Ochamchiri, a town in the Russian-occupied Georgian region of Abkhazia, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. As of the beginning of 2024, Ukrainian forces had disabled approximately 33% of all combat ships in the Russian Black Sea Fleet since the start of the full-scale invasion. Ukraine's remarkable success in the Battle of the Black Sea has had significant practical implications for the wider war. It has disrupted Russian logistics and hindered the resupply of Russian troops in southern Ukraine while limiting Russia's ability to bomb Ukrainian targets from warships armed with cruise missiles. Crucially, it has also enabled Ukraine to break the blockade, the country's Black Sea ports, and resume commercial shipping via a new maritime corridor. As a result, Ukrainian agricultural exports are now close to pre-war levels, providing Kyiv with a vital economic lifeline. The Russian reaction to mounting setbacks in the Battle of the Black Sea has also been extremely revealing and offers valuable lessons for the future conduct of the war. It has often been suggested that a cornered and beaten Vladimir Putin could potentially resort to the most extreme measures, including the use of nuclear weapons. In fact, he has responded to the humiliating defeat of the Black Sea Fleet by quietly ordering his remaining warships to retreat. This underwhelming response is all the more telling given the symbolic significance of Crimea to the Putin regime. Turkey said on Monday the death of a reclusive US-based Islamic cleric would not deter its fight against terrorism. Fethullah Gulen was a cleric who inspired a global social movement while facing accusations he masterminded a failed 2016 coup in his native Turkey. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said Gulen's death has been confirmed by Turkish intelligence sources. Fidan said that Gulen's death will not make us complacent or relaxed. This organization has been a threat rarely seen in the history of our nation, he added. Our nation, our state will continue to fight against this organization as they do with all kinds of terrorist organizations," Fidden stressed. He also called on Gulen's followers to turn away from this treasonous wrong path. Gulen spent the last decades of his life in self-exile, living on a gated compound in Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains from where he continued to wield influence among his millions of followers in Turkey and throughout the world. He espoused a philosophy that blended Sufism, a mystical form of Islam, with staunch advocacy of democracy, education, science and interfaith dialogue. Gulen began as an ally of Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan, but became a foe. He called Erdogan an authoritarian bent on accumulating power and crushing dissent. Erdogan cast Gulen as a terrorist accusing him of orchestrating the attempted military coup on the night of July 15, 2016, when factions within the military used tanks, warplanes and helicopters to try to overthrow Erdogan's government. FETÖ örgütü ele başsının ölümünü ispirat kaynaklarımızda doğruluyor. Bu karanlık örgütün lideri ölmüştür. Terörle mücadelede milletimizin kararlılığı devam edecektir. 
bu ölüm haberi bizi hiçbir zaman için bir rehavete, gevşemeye itmeyecektir. Bu örgüt milletimizin tarihinde türüne ender rastlanan bir tehdit odağı olmuştur. Enerji konusu da ikili işbirliğimizin önemli başlıkları arasında yer alıyor. Kendilerini gittikleri ihanet dolu bu yanlış yoldan vazgeçmeye, devletlerine, milletlerin aleyhine karşı çalışmaktan vazgeçmeye davet ediyorum. Bu yol iyi bir yol değil. Bu yolun sonu iyi bir son değil. Basın toplantımız sona ermiştir. Değerli bakanlarımızı fotoğraf çekimine davet ediyoruz.